Hi, and now you might be watching this third final scenario for setting your calendar. You may already be teaching Reading Wonders, and that's great, and you're just now going and moving into the digital side of Wonders. So you need to sync your calendar to wherever you are in the print. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do that by using an example. I'm going to say that I am a first grade teacher and that I am teaching Unit 1, Week 2. And the date today is September 8th. So I need my calendar to match so that I'm teaching Unit 1, Week 2 on September 8th. So join me online and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so now you're looking at my Connect Ed book bag. And remember, we're using the first grade example. So I'm going to click into my teacher edition for grade one. Now, of course, this calendar is already set up, so I want to walk through starting this new calendar so you can see it from your perspective. So I'm going to click on Manage and Assign. Then I'm going to go to Class Details. And over to the right, I've got Create a Class. So now you've clicked from your book bag, and you're here at the Setup Wizard. The first thing the Setup Wizard is going to ask you to do is type in your class name. You can really name this anything that you'd like. I usually like to use my last name and then the school year, because as the years progress, you will be able to go back and use those customized plans from previous years. So I've named my class Harvey 2014-15. It defaults to your grade level. If for some reason it didn't, you can use the drop-down menu and change that, but we're in grade one. So now I'll go to the bottom of the screen and click Next. Now the setup wizard is asking you to set your first teaching day. Now the system will default to whatever day is actually today. So I'm recording this video and it's May 29, 2014, but my first teaching day is going to be in August. However, remember that this scenario is that I've already been teaching, and it's September. So how do I match where I am in my book and make sure the digital matches? So <clears throat> I'm in Unit 1, Week 2. And I also know that at first grade, Start Smart is three weeks. So I'm going to put my mouse on September 8th, because that's where I, that's where I am. That's where I want to start my Unit 1 Week 2. So if I go back a week on Monday the 1st, that takes me to Unit 1 Week 1, and then I've got to back up three more weeks for Start Smart. So I'm going to go back into August, and I'll go the 25th, then the 18th, and then the 11th. That is actually where I need to set my first teaching day because the system will then roll out Start Smart, and then it will catch up, and I'll be at Unit 1 Week 2. Two for September 8th. Once I have that set, I click Next. Now I do want to go through and apply any dates, holidays, or what we call non-teaching days. The system automatically puts in dates for national holidays like Memorial Day, President's Day. But this is where it will be very helpful for you to have your school calendar so you can put in any particular dates that are specific to your district. So I'm just going to do a couple as an example. For example, I'm going to say we have a staff development day on August, excuse me, on October the 6th. So I mark that turns blue. I also know that I'm off for the whole week of Thanksgiving, so I can mark uh, Monday, November 24th, the 25th, the 26th as non-teaching days. And of course, I would go through the whole school year as best as my knowledge tells me right now. Don't worry, if things come up throughout the year, you can always adjust your calendar. And once I am there, I hit save. Now the computer tells me to please be patient because I am loading that ConnectEd content. Depending on the speed of your computer, this may take anywhere from three to five minutes. But once it does, you will see that your content and calendar will be synced to that particular day that you set as your teaching day or where you are in the print. It's so critical that you take the time to set your calendar or sync your calendar because your students' dashboard and the materials they see sync directly to this calendar.
knowing that your kids will see the just right materials when you get to those units and weeks of instruction. So now that you've seen how to sync your calendar to wherever you are in the print materials and you've just seen this video, it's fresh in your mind, I invite you to go into ConnectEd and sync your calendar as well.